Elder Ballard has spoken to you concerning missionaries. I wish to endorse what he said. I hope that our young men and our young women will rise to the challenge he set forth. We must raise the bar on the worthiness and qualifications of those who go into the world as ambassadors of the Lord Jesus Christ. But why, some say, the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Brothers and sisters, I now turn to another matter, namely missionary service. For some time, the First Presidency of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles have allowed young men from certain countries to serve at the age of 18 when they're worthy, able, have graduated from high school, and have expressed a sincere desire to serve. This has been a country-specific policy and has allowed thousands of young men to serve honorable missions and also fulfill required military obligations and educational opportunities. Our experience with these 18-year-old missionaries has been positive. The mission presidents report that they are obedient, faithful, mature, and serve just as competently as do the older missionaries who serve in the same missions. Their faithfulness, obedience, and maturity have caused us to desire the same option of earlier missionary call for all young men, regardless of the country from which they come. I am pleased to announce that effective immediately, all <coughs> worthy and able young men who graduated from high school or its equivalent, regardless of where they live, will have the option of being recommended for missionary service beginning at the age of 18 instead of age 19. I am not suggesting that all young men will or should serve at this earlier age, rather based on individual circumstances, as well as upon a determination by priesthood leaders. This option is now available. As we prayerfully pondered the age at which young men may begin their missionary service, we have also given consideration to the age at which a young woman might serve. Today, I'm pleased to announce that able, worthy young women who have the desire to serve may be recommended for missionary service beginning at age 19 instead of age 21. We affirm that missionary work is a priesthood duty, and we encourage all young men who are worthy and who are physically able and mentally capable to respond to the call to serve. Many young women also serve, but they are not under the same mandate to serve as are the young men. We assure the young sisters of the Church, however, that they make a valuable contribution as missionaries, and we welcome their service. <clears throat> 